Introduction One planning a vacation in Europe has just summed to the right place as it will be describing all important attraction to cover. However, one might understand very well that two vacations combined are simply not enough for covering entire Europe. Thus, we will be covering the most important locations to cover in Europe and all details regarding to them. It will make it whole a lot easier for you to decide which one you want to cover and which one you can keep for future. After reading this one cannot simply resist visiting many of the attraction cities of Europe. Moreover, despite of not being one of the oldest momentums of Europe Eiffel Tower of France is most visited place of the year throughout the year. Tower was built in 1889 by engineer Gustav Eiffel by Eiffel Company. Thanks to the rich culture and heritage, London and Paris managed to make their place amongst most visited places within Europe. Even the cities that do not contain any wonder or attractions are tourists' destinations. There is a particular reason behind this. Every city has its own history and places related to the historical stories. Most of them have this factor. It makes fascinating for tourists to visit a place that has saw golden period, bloodshed or any such fascinating historical story. There are also some places that had dark past, however are now developing as well-structured tourism locations. Berlin is the bigger example of such a place having dark past. It has been more than two decades since fall of the wall of the Berlin. Now it is great tourist destination and constantly evolving. Proofs can be found as people there are now trying to forget about the past and contributing in development of tourism. Chapter 1 Rome Rome is also known as the City of Seven Hills with a mythic beginning. This eternal city is said to be found by twin brother Romulus and Remus. She-wolf and war guard are believed to have respectively nursed and fathered these twins. Most of the travellers believe that there is some magic about this historical city which attracts them a lot. Rome is certainly to enchant with its various attractions such as Mystery of Vatican City, Ghosts of the Colosseum, Afternoon Café on Piazza Novena and Pasta et Trattoria. Rome compresses a vast history and eras of Octavian, Julius Caesar, Hadrian and many others. Best thing to do and places to visit. Treve Fountain, Roman Forum, St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican Museums, Sistine Chapel, Trastevere, Colosseo, Church of Loyola, Pantheon, Church of Francesi. Best time to visit Rome. One planning to visit Rome should avoid months of May to September. January to April and October to December are considered best time spent throughout the year to visit Rome. Getting around. Most of the attractions in Rome are scattered in traffic areas. Thus, walking makes sense. It is the best way to getting around the city. However, some locations like Vatican City are far away from main city thus a taxi or metro can be used. Food Rome is one of the best places for foodies since it is packed up with restaurants. One can visit one of the trattorias to enjoy family recipes and also fusion restaurants to enjoy latest trend of culinary. Some famous Italian food can also be enjoyed in Rome, such as grilled shrimps, artichokes, veal with ham and cheese, etc. Chapter 2 Paris This city of light attracts millions and billions of visitors every other year thanks to the unforgettable ambience lying in the city. Divine variety of cuisine and art collections also play a huge role in attracting travellers. The city is rich in culture and heritage. River Seine cuts through the city giving it a touch of nature. There are several stately museums and churches. Some of them are older more than centuries. Blocks of Rococo and neoclassical architectures are one of the most important attractions of the city. 
Paris is known as City of Lights thanks to glowing tree lamps and street lamps. You will come across tourists enjoying cobbled walks around Seine over graceful bridges. There is a lot to do, including world-class museums, fashion streets, cuisine and mainly its atmosphere. Top things to do and places to visit. Notre Dame Cathedral Museum du Louvre Eiffel Tower Arc de Triomphe National Opera of Paris Musée d'Orsay Les Marais Sacre Cœur Best time to visit Paris Months of June, July and August are considered best for visiting Paris, which is the pre-winter season. Post-May and beginning of the September is also good as well. Getting around when, when visiting attractions, it is best to walk only. However, consider it, considering that Paris is huge and well-spread, efficient metro can be used to travel long distances. There are several active bus routes around the city too. Metros and buses are available to travel into the city from both the airports. Food Everything from Asian fusions and bistro far and bistro fare are served in surplus restaurants scattered around the city. The food in Paris has a noticeable French touch. There are various Montmartre too to enjoy classy street food. You will enjoy quality French food wherever you decide to dine. Chapter 3 London According to a British writer, if a person is tired of London, there is nothing left in his life. He firmly believes that London has got everything that is required to live. Era of this writer is now as old as two centuries, but these statements are still reality. Living in London is a good as invigorating. Visitors of London believe that one visit to this wonderful city is not enough to experience it at fullest. Most famous attractions of London are well-known and Historic Tower of London and Tate Modern. These two are always on top in the list of places to visit in London. Best things to do and places to visit British Museum Tower of London Buckingham Palace Portobello Road Market Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens Westminster Abbey West End Theatre District, National Gallery, Piccadilly Circus, Tower Bridge, quite closer to Tower of London. Best time to visit London. Everyone knows how rainy City of London is. However, you can avoid most of the rains during months of March, April and May. So this will be the best time to enjoy spring season. Getting around. Underground rapid transfer in London is known as the tube that is the best medium for roaming around the city. A tube can also be taken from the airport to centre of the city. This system is spread in London and its outskirts and is comparatively easy to navigate 10 through. You should consider buying an Oyster card which can be used in tube, buses and any transportation in the city. Walking will help you to discover London like never before. Food. Back into the past, London was heavily criticised for heavy and uninspired food items. It has fried cod and French fries, sausages and mashed potatoes, mincemeat pies. You got the idea, haven't you? However, in present, it is one of the best cities for food around the globe. You will find everything from modern British food to Malaysian dishes. Curry houses in Brick Lane serve Indian food as well. Chapter 4 Venice What if I tell you City of Venice is floating on the water? Sounds too cliché. You will surely trust us once you come across the city on the water yourself. World-famous Grand Canal of Venice is just close to Santa Lucia train station, which is the main railway station of the city. Water taxis' coasts are also there to enjoy. Passing through the Ponte degli Scali, Bridge of the Barefoot will be a lifetime experience of yours. Sweet tone of violence can be heard there, or you might just imagine that. 
Everything in the city is itself attractions, like overbridges, narrow passageways, old world storefronts and residents, etc. Best thing to do and places to visit. St. Mark's Basilica, Grand Canal, Rialto Bridge, Academy Gallery, Teatro La Fenice, Doge's Palace, St. Mark's Square. Best time to visit Venice. Months of September, October and November are considered best for tourists. Rush would be less, season would be great and hotel booking are easy if you are willing to stay. Getting around. Considering the city is not that huge, roaming around on foot is the best way of discovering the city. Canals and weaving roads are much likely to complicate things for walkers. However, getting lost in the city is the best experience, trust me with this. For canals, there are water bus, ferries, water taxi and gondolas available. You have to take a water taxi from airport or even from railway station for main city. Driving is not an option here since even police use boats to get around. Food Since the city is tied closely with the water, there is no doubt that seafood and especially fish is main element of cuisine here. Some of the popular elements are sepia, clams and sea bass. They can be found in every other dish in the city. Tramezzini is also a specialty in food here. Cafes are spread throughout the city serving sandwiches stuffed with cheese and meat. Any area of the city other than San Marco would serve you best food of your lifetime. Chapter 5 Florence Florence is a nice little city of Italy. It is located amid the Tuscan hills. A long shadow is casted throughout the city due to these hills intercepting sun rays. Alongside with nature, the city is historically rich too. It witnessed the powerful Medici family. Famous artists like Michelangelo, Brunelleschi belong from here. If some fashionable Italians and chic shops are ignored, you will feel like travelling back into 14th century while hanging around in the city. The city has witnessed wellspring of Renaissance art. However, it is not the only reason the encourages that encourages and attracts tourists. Gorgeous subsets and Italian food attracts tourists as well. Moreover, Florence is considered best romantic gateway of entire Europe. Best things to do and places to visit. Piazza della Signora. Duomo. It is a cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. Piazzale Michelangelo. Galleria dell'Accademia. Palazzo Pitti. Basilica de Santa Cruces. Ponte Vecchio. Best time to visit Florence. Middle span of English year is considered the best for visiting this romantic destination. It includes months of May, June, July, August and September. This season is the best since nature is at its peak of beauty and you can enjoy natural sights and sunsets. Getting around The city of Florence is kind of small and well populated. Walking is the best option since you will cross entire city in about 30 minutes. It will allow you to discover many attractions and important locations properly. Renting a car is not an option due to one-way roads and populated streets. Once you take a taxi from airport to centre of the city, walking is best. Food with arts, Florence is famous for its simple and delicious cuisine, along with the wine of Tuscany, a neighbouring town. Almost every restaurant in the town is overpriced. You can head to Mercator Central for fresh breads, cheese and meat and create a meal yourself. However, even if you decide to eat out, you won't regret. A romantic dinner can be planned at Ristorante La Giostra. Chapter 6. Barcelona Barcelona is a versatile city. It is rich by history and culture and contains wildly bizarre as well. 
you will come across the lined Las Ramblers and narrow alleys of Bari Gothic as well. There are a noticeable amount of beachside nightclubs 